The first human case of monkeypox was recorded in 1970. Prior to this year's outbreak, monkeypox had been reported in people in Central and Western African countries. Almost all cases in people outside of Africa were linked to international travel where the disease occurred due to imported animals. While anyone can get monkeypox, the current outbreaks is overwhelmingly affecting sexually active gay, bisexual, and other men who have sex with men. This video will discuss male adult film stars and content creators who tested positive for monkeypox and actively shared their experiences on social media. The purpose of this video is to educate the community on how monkeypox spreads, discuss symptoms, and how to prevent monkeypox as well as prevent stigmatization. I purposely have not included sensitive or graphic images. In the comment section, let me know your thoughts on the monkeypox outbreak. Have you been vaccinated? If you were vaccinated, did you receive your shot locally or did you travel somewhere else? And how long do you think people should quarantine after receiving a positive diagnosis? Also, I want to give a big thank you to all of the new members who join my channel. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Now, stay tuned. Greg Riley is a 35-year-old adult model managed by Fab Scout, one of the top gay porn talent management companies. He also creates content for OnlyFans and just for fans. On July 13th, he posted a message on Twitter, please get vaccinated if you have the opportunity. And if you've texted, I have not been looking at my phone a lot due to recovering from monkeypox. It's been painful for the past two weeks. On July 26th, Greg was a guest on the Discretion Advised podcast where he provided greater details about his experience. He believed that he contracted the virus at a club event on Fire Island on June 30th. The interview is available on Apple Podcasts and everywhere else you can listen to podcasts. Sparky Baxter is a content creator, sex worker, porn actor, and pup in San Francisco. After growing up in Texas, then later struggling with addiction, he hustled his way into a new life through sexual freedom and sobriety. On July 15th, he tweeted that he was in the ER. On July 22nd, he tweeted, my second trip to the ER in a week because of monkeypox and painful symptoms. Be safe, do your research, talk to your partners, and don't slut shame. He also tweeted, this is not worth it guys, I'm isolated and can't work. Day 9. Ali Adams is a DJ and controversial sex-positive content creator. His kink is being bred frequently and he posts the count on his Twitter page. He tested positive for monkeypox in July. On August 1st, he posted a day-by-day -day breakdown of his experience with the virus. Day 1 through 2, he experienced fever, chills, and delirium. Day 3, a rash appeared on his behind. Day 4 through 6, more bumps appeared on random parts of his body and he experienced exhaustion. Day 7 through 12, he experienced hemorrhoids with internal bleeding and lesions sensitive to the touch. During day 13 through 15, the lesions healed. Also on August 1st, he posted photos of his body and wrote, you wouldn't even know I had it just by looking at me. On August 2nd, he discussed receiving HIV medication as well as the monkeypox vaccine. On the 4th, he posted a photo at the gym and Twitter exploded. One person wrote, Mr. 150 Loads contracted monkeypox and thought it was a good idea to go to the gym whilst being contagious. Because of the amount of comments that he received, he deleted the original tweet. According to the CDC, monkeypox is contagious for 4 to 10 weeks, while COVID is contagious up to 2 weeks. In the comment section, let me know if you think Ali should have waited longer before visiting the gym. Babe Rogers is an adult content creator and the creator of TikTok, a sex positive podcast. On July 22nd, he created a thread on Twitter stating, so I have monkeypox. I figured I'd just give an honest account of how I got it and how my symptoms manifested to educate anyone curious. Babe gave a full play-by-play -play of his activities, so I'll give you a summary. In June, he caught COVID, isolated for three weeks, 
When he recovered, he filmed new content to pay bills as well as attended, let's say, a golden shower party. Soon after he started experiencing symptoms, coughing, exhaustion, and a fever, homophobic Twitter pounced on his disclosure, retweeted his tweet, and added hate-filled comments and misinformation at such an alarming rate that Babe deleted the original tweet. These people went on to web archives, found the original tweet, and tweeted it, and then tagged Babe. Look at these comments. Two of them really disgust me. The first, your sex life seems pretty typical for gays. Homophobic people tend to throw reason out of the window when discussing gay people. Gay men are not walking sex parties. Men typically are very sexual, not just gay men. And any person can have a healthy sexual appetite, not just men. This is the second one that really bothered me by Blair White. If you spent two years telling people they can't have funerals, operate their businesses, or take their kids outside, you shouldn't have a problem asking people to pause on gay orgies. Blair, who is trans, identifies as center-right and is a MAGA supporter who has previously posted incorrect information about gender-affirming surgeries in trans athletes. There are over 26,000 monkeypox cases detected worldwide across 87 countries, with the maximum number of cases detected in Europe, Spain, Germany, and the UK accounting for 10,000 cases. Misinformation is how COVID spread and why there was an increase in violence against Asians. Please do not let misinformation spread. We could see violence increase against men deemed gay or bisexual or others who have sex with men. Roxas Selim is a bisexual only fans creator and live stream gamer. On July 15th, he posted a video stating that he contracted monkeypox and he wouldn't post new content until after he was cleared. Out of all of the other adult models, he was the only one left unscathed by homophobic Twitter as well as gay Twitter. Gay Twitter unfortunately contributed to some of the pain that these individuals experienced. Case in point, Larry Jackson III. Larry is a songwriter and not an adult model who has amassed a large following on Instagram. On July 31st, he posted a video on Instagram stating that he was at the hospital waiting to be seen to test for monkeypox. I won't show the entire video due to its graphic nature, but he zoomed in to show the sore on his lip and neck and lesions in his throat. He posted updates and told those who are positive to block out negativity and to focus on their health plans. He was also one of the first individuals that I saw describing their symptoms as a way to allow others to recognize monkeypox symptoms and prevent the spread. Unfortunately, he received an overwhelmingly negative response from gay men. Even though gay men have become the face of monkeypox, straight individuals who contract the virus are not coming forward in the same manner out of fear, stigma, and shame. And the same individuals who shame people online will be the people who go into hiding after contracting monkeypox. Tree is a content creator and graphic designer based out of New York. On August 1st, Tree wrote he tested positive for monkeypox and that he was in excruciating pain for a week, saw three doctors, no one knew what to do, and he was at his lowest point. Half an hour later, he had received DMs about resources, Google Docs, and information about T-Pox. T-Pox inhibits the viral maturation of the virus by preventing the formation of a secondary viral envelope. Without this envelope, viral particles remain inside the cell and cannot spread to and infect other cells. He was able to book a same-day appointment at Astor Medical in New York. They prescribed T-Pox for him and he received it on the same day. Just after one day, his pain was reduced significantly. He provided the public with the resources that he had received as well. In the states, there are about 11,000 confirmed cases. Like COVID-19 and HIV before it, New York City is the epicenter for monkeypox. The state has 2,295 cases. The second state with the most cases is California with 1,945 cases, and Florida has 1,085 cases. These stats are eerily similar to the numbers we saw early in the pandemic. Corvinus is a 30-year-old adult entertainer, content creator, and brand ambassador. This story is a little complex. July 8th, he tweeted that he had monkeypox. 
He then posted a video showing his lesions and sores, but then deleted the video after receiving negative backlash. On August 7th, he posted that the night of his 30th birthday, he was arrested, and he believed that he caught the virus while in jail. In the tweet, he insinuates that two guests at the party previously had monkeypox, Jeremy and Kai Levine. I don't think those two had confirmed that they had monkeypox. Even though he received backlash, he posted the least amount of information about monkeypox. Using his platform could educate more people about monkeypox, the symptoms, and how to prevent it. Ray Dalton is a porn star, public speaker, life coach, and owner of Fornification, a drug-free cruising party that features porn stars and OnlyFans models doing live performances. On August 10th, Ray posted on Instagram that he was in the recovery phase. He also posted useful information about care for sores and lesions. Check out his Instagram to see the full post. Harun Tulane is a Turkish sexual and mental health advocate based in London. He, along with two other individuals, became the face of monkeypox. Harun experienced more extreme symptoms and was hospitalized for about two weeks. He provided day-by-day -day updates about his experience. Because of this, news agencies from all around the world interviewed him. He is also outspoken about being HIV positive and why it's necessary for people who are HIV positive to be vaccinated. He created some of the first PSAs about how monkeypox is spread to combat misinformation. In June and July, his tweets helped bring greater information to gay and bisexual men about the virus. I really hope that he's recognized by his peers in the UK for his transparency. Silver Steel is an award-winning adult entertainer and content creator based out of Texas. He won the 2022 Grabby Award for Best Group Sex for his film Court Martial with Milan, Damian Cross, and 23 other performers. Like her run, Silver became the face of monkeypox and was interviewed by numerous news agencies in the States. Tweets from homophobic Twitter containing photos of his facial lesions went viral. Fortunately, Silver remained positive and is now clear to continue being an advocate outside of quarantine. Lynn Tooley is neither a porn star or a content creator. He is a director at Community Based Research Center, a nonprofit that advocates for diverse sexualities and genders in Canada. Lynn was vaccinated for monkeypox on June 15th. However, three days later, a pimple appeared on his behind. He had been exposed to the virus before being vaccinated. He is one of the first cases in Toronto. The medical community did not have answers for him. Therefore, he created the website igotmpox.com. The info on the website is really useful for care of sores and lesions. If you have monkeypox or know someone who develops it, send them the link to the website. Also, two sex workers created a monkeypox info sheet to help sex workers. Next, I want to discuss modes of transmission, which includes unprotected contact with respiratory droplets, lesion material, bodily fluids, contaminated materials and surfaces. The most risky behavior includes direct contact with an infectious rash, scab, or bodily fluids, and sexual or intimate contact. More risky behavior includes respiratory secretions during kissing or cuddling, which has prolonged face-to-face -face contact, or dancing at a crowded party inside with non-fully clothed people. People. A number of people who contract the virus stated that they contracted it via parties and they had not engaged in sexual contact. Also, I want to discuss an overview of symptoms. The incubation period can be 5 to 21 days where there are no symptoms. During day one, where symptoms are exhibited, people can experience fever, swelling of the lymph nodes, headache, chills, a sore throat, malaise, or fatigue. This lasts up to four days. The rash stage can last two to four weeks. Then the recovery period can last days, two weeks. Viruses do not discriminate and neither should we. However, homophobic individuals have spread misinformation that monkeypox is a gay disease and it's spread through sex. The modes of transmission can happen to anyone regardless of sexual orientation, gender, or gender identity. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram at writervickyates for more about my art and literary projects. And in the comment section, let me know your thoughts on the monkeypox outbreak. Have you been vaccinated? If you were vaccinated, did you receive your shot locally 
or did you travel somewhere else? And how long do you think people should quarantine after receiving a positive diagnosis? If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and become a member if you can. Like and share this video. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah.